we get to make something really cool and it turns out really good in the end. We are creating um, games for a second grade and under to play and we're going to teach them the force, motion, gravity and friction. This lesson really got started when we decided we want to do something for force and motion. And so Captain Martin actually found the idea online and we saw that it was a carnival. But then we were like, how can we take this to the next level, like JTSD style, STEAM Incorporated. And that's when we came up with the idea of creating an actual carnival where the students create and build their activities and their games to teach the younger grades what force in motion is. I was doing mini golf and there's going to be a big castle. I love, it's my favorite sport. We're making a dunk take. We have a big box and we cut a hole in and we put a piece of cardboard in it and we're going to put a ball on it and we're going to put a bucket full of water in there and we're going to have a target right here and if they hit the target with the ball we're going to slide this out and then a ball will fall into the water. So they start with their scratch paper then we move on to actual blueprints and scientists and engineers they all have blueprints and so once they have that blueprint down, then we move them into the process of knowing how they're going to build it. And so then the cardboard all comes in, and so the measurements all come into play. And, and then the final piece is they will color their blueprint, and then we decorate the room in the hallway, and then we present. Gravity is the force that pulls things down to the earth. Friction is, is the force that slows things down. This is like forcing something to move. And motion is where you're changing something in motion. This is something that every teacher can do in their classroom, and it's an opportunity for a real life situation like a carnival to come to life for these kids to teach a standard that they will understand better. Love science, third grade is the best science of all. I still have students coming back. Like, they'll poke their heads in when they know this is the week, and they're like, can we come? And I'm like, no, but what do you remember?